right, as we continue with Congressman Devin Nunes, he is the chairman of the House Intel Committee. All right, let me ask you this. I'm, I'm looking again at the the memo that was sent out by Chuck Grassley today, in other words, the second memo here. And again, I want to reiterate for our audience, it literally says, Steele gathered his information from Russian government sources inside of Russia. Then it goes on to say, Mr. Steele, in litigation, it appears he either lied to the FBI or to the British courts, or the classified documents reviewed by the committee contain materially false statements. Then it says this, the timeline here is important about James Comey. It says, F former FBI director in June of 2017, James Comey, Publicly, before the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, he had said that he, he briefed President-elect Trump, this is a Trump Tower, and he told him and described the dossier as salacious and unverified. Now that's long after Comey signed off on that information being used as a foundation to get the FISA warrant. So would he, he either, he handed to the court something he believed was unverified and salacious, or he gave a credibility when they got the initial FISA warrant. Which is it? Do you see a conflict there like I do? Well, I think the, the conflict that you're describing, which is which no one on the left seems to care about or the mainstream media, is that political dirt was used by the FBI and they knew it was political dirt to open a counterintelligence investigation into the other campaign. That's what people, I just can't believe that people on the other side are not furious about this. But, but look, I, I have faith in the American people. I think that a majority of Americans ultimately will make the determination that using political dirt by the FBI on the opposing campaign is a, is a place that, uh, that we won't go. And I'll tell you, I think that my colleagues here in the House, I mean, they're, they're furious about this, as they should be. Let me, let me ask, you said that you believe your colleagues on the other side of the aisle have leaked intelligence at least a hundred times, is that true? Yeah, we have a hundred uh, examples of leaks from our committee that uh, we feel could have only come from the other side. All right, let, let's talk a little bit about Sarah Carter's article tonight, because I think it's very, very interesting. She has two of them. As you look at this new, this new memo that came out tonight, the criminal referral confirms that allies of the Clinton and Obama administration were providing Steele with what they deemed damaging information on candidate-elect Trump. And that's where we get into, for example, Sidney Blumenthal and some other Clinton associates. Let me see if I'm understanding this correctly. Is it possible, sir, that Clinton associates were feeding information to Christopher Steele? And I refer back to, you know, one other part of the redacted memo in the Senate where it says there's substantial evidence that Mr. Steele materially misled the FBI about a key aspect of his dossier's efforts. Is it possible that Clinton associates gave information to Christopher Steele that was then used for a, a salacious dossier on Hillary's opponent that was then used to lie to the American people or mislead the American people because Steele leaked all over to the mainstream media and then was used as the basis for a FISA? Is that possible that some of the well, information came from Clinton's own people? To you're, steal? You're, you're not gonna you're you're not gonna like this answer, Sean. But it's the one I have to give you. Partially why that's redacted. Senator Grassley's uh, letter is redacted, uh, and you know it's still whatever is there is classified. We can't get can into. Can I read you the unredacted part? But I can. But what I can tell you is this: we have an active investigation into the State Department. Uh, that has been ongoing for a while now, and as soon as we can get that information out, uh, we will, uh, as the investigation unfolds. I haven't been wrong yet, Congressman, um, in all of this. How do we, how is it possible? And this is my final question. I have, I, look, I could keep you on the air for the full hour. How is it possible that this is happening in the United States of America? That is all of this combined, that you have Russian information from apparently a known liar who has Russian paid sources that then it's paid for by one campaign, and, it, and that's bad enough. That takes it up to another notch. So you have Russian lies propaganda paid for by one candidate. Then that paid propaganda is used to go before a FISA court. And the top people at the FBI and DOJ don't inform the court about the underlying dossier being bought and paid for by that other candidate for the very person they're trying to get a FISA memo on. 
it's it's what happens in banana republics. It's very scary. And imagine the, the you know, we found out about this last March, not all of it, uh, but we knew that the dossier was used to some degree. And it took us, as you as you well know, uh, subpoenaing the DOJ and FBI, uh, having to move close to going to contempt. It took Speaker Ryan uh, telling them that they were basically going to be held in contempt. And finally, we were able to break loose all of the documentation. Uh, and then we were able to get it out to the American people uh, in the form of the memo that uh, is now uh, is now out and available for people to read. And, and I think people should go and read the memo. I really do. If, if you if your uh, viewers have not written read the memo, it's it's worth your time. I think it'll be very illuminating. All right, uh, Chairman Nunes, uh, I believe you've done a great service. I believe it's the right thing to do. The American people need to know about all of this because fundamentally. We had an effort to undermine our election and then undermine an incoming president. Is that a fair statement? Last question. Yeah, I mean, look, I think there's clear there's there's clear evidence of collusion that the Democratic Party and the Hillary Clinton campaign colluded with the Russians. Okay, you don't get to you don't get to hire lawyers and pretend like that didn't happen. The very and then thing it's, it goes to what 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 they accuse you of is what they actually were doing. Unbelievable. All right, sir. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. My pleasure. We'll get full reaction analysis. The great one, Mark Levin, as Hannity continues.